Hey, how's it guys? Welcome to the channel. For this video, I've just got some clouds and some other observations as background because I want to talk about the conspiracies involving the sky. Once I hear about these theories, then I try to keep it in mind when I'm making my observations. As you guys know, I am looking out mostly all day, every day. Now, there are some different flavors of conspiracy theorists, but I do find that some of their ideas overlap and intertwine with each other's. As with any other topic, the spectrum is vast, but it basically comes down to either there is a sun simulator or the entire sky is a projection system. And from what I heard, it's the they who are in charge, the they are in control of everything. And when you see something like, for example, a partial rainbow, it's the they who didn't get the projection right. So ever since I heard that there's a conspiracy around rainbows, I actively look for them because we have rainbow causing weather here in the mountains now. So on the evening of the 4th of March, there was a brief shower and then the sun peeked through the clouds and I was lucky enough to get a partial rainbow. And you know, this just tells us that these people just don't understand how light works. So the sun's light is white and it comes through the atmosphere and if there are some moisture particles in the atmosphere it will pass through those particles and then disperse into the array of colors we call the rainbow now how prominent or uh, how much of the rainbow we see is dependent on how much moisture there is in the atmosphere and in that way, a rainbow is a visual illusion, but it's not a conjured up illusion. It is something that happens in reality when we pass white light through a prism. And in the case of the real life rainbow, it's the sun's light passing through the water particles acting as that prism. And another thing that they lose their minds over, and that is lens flares. So not only don't they understand how light works, they don't understand how cameras work. And they don't understand that cameras are not the same as our eyes. So you got a camera that has several layers of lenses, right? I've, I've got the lens that is uh, on the front of the camera that is protecting everything inside. And then there's another lens before you actually get the um, piece of equipment that actually captures the image. But because it's got all these layers of lenses, then that causes the sun's light to be reflected. And that's why I try to get a lens flare on purpose because every time it's different and depending on how you position your camera, it will be in a different position in the image. And the they are incredibly ingenious, but also incredibly incompetent at the same time because apparently the they don't want us to know what they are doing and that they are in control, but then they leave clues where people can find them and decipher them. But it gets more mind blowing than that because since the they are in charge of everything, that means that they control the speed of the wind, the altitude that the wind is blowing in at different directions and at different speeds. And they also control the types of clouds I see in my sky. And sometimes two or three different types of clouds at different altitudes. You know, guys, it's actually raining really hard right now with some heavy lightning and thunder. 
So I have to ask, who are the they who are in charge of all of these things? Apparently the entire sky is a simulation. So what I am experiencing right now with this heavy rain, thunder, lightning, wind, it's just a simulation. But when I go outside, I can feel it. For some conspiracy theorists like the Fluffs, the they are the scientists, people at NASA, and astronauts whom they call actonauts, and maybe Bible deniers. For creationist conspiracy theorists, it's Bible deniers, the scientists, and atheists. And then we've got some other conspiracy theorists like Dr. Claudia Albers, who blames Lucifer, and Hans Wormhat, who blames Hollywood. But these conspiracy theorists, they never tell us let alone demonstrate or provide some sort of testable evidence what it should be like if we were seeing reality as it's supposed to be. Instead, they point to other people's videos and photographs taken on some other location on the earth, not where they are. They didn't go and make those observations. And then they tell us what you are seeing is not reality, it's just an illusion, and that we must believe them because they are the only ones who were able to decipher the open, covert clues that the they have scattered around the place. But then some of us don't just believe what they have to say and we go out and try and look for ourselves and what we find is that they just don't understand the phenomena they're trying to refute. You know guys, I actually do understand that all of us may entertain some or other conspiracy theory at one point or another or maybe even come up with some of our own when we don't know all the answers. But then we find some answers and then adjust our understanding and we find that the information that we were taught or shown conform to reality. So guys, that's it for this video. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. Also guys, an announcement. On the 1st of May, I am going to be on the EIE Network's Mega Mirror. Please join us. In the meantime, please guys, stay safe and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.